guys, I'm Gagasita. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new here, which is such a rare thing. Welcome back if you're not new. <laughs> so today's video is gonna be a swatch party and the first impression on this beautiful palette right here. Honestly, I am in love with this palette here. I created this grungy eye look, but let's start from the beginning. I am a huge, huge fan of the Beauty Bay eyeshadows. I feel they are not just good for the price. They are amazing and the price make it better. You know what I mean? I was so intrigued to buy this one here, but then I got a lot a lot of issues with my order partially because of Beauty Bay and partially because of me so I will not say that it's completely Beauty Bay fault it was my fault as well because we have some misunderstandments but I'm waiting to put my hands on this part here since the 5th of October October and we are in the end of November right now so it's a long time it's a really really long time let's be honest it's a really 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 long time but I still want to play with it because when I first saw the the color story online I felt in love with it because first of all Carol's on Beauty Bay this is the first 20 pound palette that doesn't has a beige shade would you trust me this one not doesn't have any beige wow so unique <laughs> okay <laughs> okay we'll stop but I was glad to don't see a beige shade in a palette in the other side I was like okay you didn't put a, a, a beige shade but you put two blacks in a palette and I know I know one it's a matte black and one it's one of those sequin matte shades but let's be real when you use this one here the glitter will fall out all over your face and then you're gonna look a glitter disco ball with a black smoky eye and no one asked for this at least I didn't I won't ask for this. For, so for me, it's more like two blacks and we didn't need it. We didn't need it. I would prefer to have maybe something different. Maybe a really deep dark teal will look amazing. I always will suggest a deep dark teal or a deep dark berry. We have a deep dark, dark berry. So I will go for a <laughs> deep dark teal. And my favorite color in absolute in my absolutely favorite color when it comes to makeup it's berry and pinks i love berries and pink but right in second place it's still so i will always always uh, not still not light still i like deep dark till i love tills because it's that kind of color that can go uh, blue or can go green depends with what you're what you are mixing it with so I do love a deep dark tail shade but this was such a strange tangent but by the way back into the palette I love this color story here and I only wish that it wasn't it this color here wasn't needed I maybe will prefer something different maybe even a mm, a lighter purple or or maybe a gray mauve will 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 be looking oh, there was a number of colors that could replace this one here this one here isn't just my favorite but not the beauty bay one i almost never like sequin shades because they just don't work the way they the way you so it's just an illusion this is a liar you see this beautiful black glittery shade but it's just a lie it doesn't like that i promise you my friend sequin shades aren't like that so this is a liar and we don't like liars in this channel here okay so i'm sorry we don't like liars sorry don't like sequins because we don't like liars but the way I loved the whole the rest of the palette and even the two the the 
the three are there oh yeah the four neutral shades that this palette here have because you know beauty bay always sprinkles some neutrals in their palettes even the neutrals are interesting neutrals because this one it's almost like a, i want to say a mustardy looking like neutral and this one it's a a really cool tone brown with a really cool tone olive undertone i don't know if you know what i mean but the still it's a really interesting neutral and the two silvers here this one it's this really unique silver it's like a still oh there are a lot of new nice colors here and you're gonna see in the swatch party that it's coming right now this is the sleeve as you can see it comes in a really fat sleeve you can see it's really fat but it comes full of bubble wrap and this way the palette doesn't break if you didn't know beauty bay always put this kind of attention to the palette so this is why i never keep the the cardboard uh, the packaging of the palette you know but here you have no here you have the palette and I am so glad to see that the actual uh, front of the packaging is way much better than the, the, the sleeve because this one I will throw away, this one I hope that I don't <laughs> but I love this palette, the, the, this, um, this green drop here, it's kind of holographic green it's really beautiful. The B of Beauty Bay, it's kind of raised up. It's a really beautiful color story and it give me Matrix, um, you know, secret laboratory vibes. Does this packaging screams holiday to me? No, this definitely screams to me Halloween, but we're gonna completely ignore that and we're gonna do the first eye look using this eyeshadow palette here. But right now, let's see some swatches. Swatch. So let's start with the first color, of course, which is gonna be that sh that uh, the shade Atmosphere, which is a white matte. It seems to be a really nice opaque white shade. The next color is the shade Hoax, which is a deep brown matte. I don't know why, but I, I feel really attracted to this kind of browns there. Then the next color is the shade Transmission, which is described as a gold shimmer. Wow, Beauty Bay doesn't came to play games. I don't know if you can actually see on my finger, but look at this color. It's almost a dual chromy. I would describe this color as a, as a brown base with gold shimmers. Then we got the shade Plasma, which is a li which is described as a light green matte. I will not say this is an extremely light matte. We got the color Virtual, which is a black shimmer. Yeah, this is the sequin shade. <laughs> I am sorry, but I don't know how to make these shimmers appear on my eye. I can pack and pack and pack and then they're gonna fall and fall and fall. I don't care, I don't love this kind of color. But I, at least it makes it easy to blend, so you know, it's like, a, yeah, you don't have the glitter, but it's gonna be a easy to blend matte black and it's a really nice black. Then the first color of the second row is the shade Reality, which is described as an ox blued matte. I love this kind of burgundy shades. They are just easy to wear in your daily basis and with this coat here, you do an amazing look. Cannot wait to put it on my eyes. Then the next color is the shade Encrypted, which is a brown shimmer. Ooh, wow, this is, has, this color is so potty and I can see a really nice burgundy base to it. Then we got the color slime, which is a bright green matte. What could you expect from a, from a color coat slime? And guess what? This color really makes me think about the slime, which is kind of disgusting, but at the same time, I can't wait to put it on my eyes. Can't 
wet. Then got the color machine, which is a green shimmer. Beauty Bay, we needed to talk about who writes your color description. This is like an emerald green with some extremely nice teal shimmer, beautiful color. Maybe not that unique, but really beautiful and it feels really opaque and metallic. The last color is the shade Paste, which is a dark green matte. Ooh, really nice green matte. It's almost, almost black. Then let's start with the third row. The first color of the third row is the shade Nightmare, which is a purple shimmer. Oh my goodness. I love this kind of purple. Maybe it isn't as shimmers as the other metallic in this palette and the next color is the shade grunge which is described as a deep purple matte I needed to build it up it doesn't swatch amazingly in the first swipe but in the second one it definitely did and then we got the color hack which is an icy pink shimmer oh boy look the sheen of this color wow Wow, the next color is the shade Algorithm, which they described to be a, a mid brown matte. Oh boy, I love this kind of browns. I know it's nothing special, it's just a brown, but I love this kind of brown. It's like a camo undertone brown. Then we got the colors Distortion, which is an ox blue shimmer. I love how dark is the base of the shimmer here. It's it's a really nice shimmery shade. I would say that it's not as metallic as the other. Okay, so finally we got into the last row and the first color of the last row is the shade Dark Matter, which is a black matte. No, 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 to me it's more like a charcoal matte. The next color is the shade Grime, which is a gun matte metal shimmer and Boy, do I love a gun mask. Oh boy, I am so glad that I have this palette in my possession. We finally got into the shade Source, which is a blue shimmer. I don't know if you can see, but this is one of the most beautiful blues I have ever swatched. Swatched because it's really bright and grungy and it give me blue and give me purple and give me bright, fantastic, unique color. Then we got the shade Cold, which is a silver shimmer. <laughs> and then they, they decided to don't describe the last color of the palette, which is, we're gonna describe for ourselves. So let's see. This to me, oh, oh boy. This to me, it's like a really dark indigo, extremely matte, almost a black shade. By the way, this is the color story. Lovely. Is it the most uh, holiday vibes palette ever? Maybe if you consider Halloween like a holiday, here we go. Okay, but right now, let's see the first impression tutorial and then let me know down below if you already bought or if you are planning on buy this palette okay so the first step is gonna be primer today you're gonna start I gonna try this new primer here this one is from about face and I'm testing this one out because I already know the Beauty Bay eyeshadow formula so it is a nice time to try a new primer so let's put it on with a brush well it makes my skin my lid feel kind of tacky down too much which is a nice sign but now let's zoom in so you can actually see a little bit better what i'm gonna do on my eyes i'm gonna start with the color reality reality here in the corner i'm gonna grab my refer number 13 which is this beautiful small blending brush i'm putting the color in the outer part of my crease i am just placing colors i am not blending and the same color color in the inner part of my crease as well leaving the middle space between one line and the other completely blend with the same color i am flicking the 
outer part of my crease this way I can create a little bit more of a, a little bit of a lift uh, crease and this color it's behaving really nicely and now with the same brush I'm putting the same color really close to my lower lash line here now with my Sigma E27 which is this kind of brush here I will grab the shade grunge and I'm placing the shade grunge in the outer part of my eyelid meeting the shade reality on my crease keeping the same shape of course and I'm gonna put the same color in my inner corner as well again meeting the shade uh, reality on my crease I was expecting this color to be a little bit more on the patchiness side because you know the nature of the color, cool tones, uh, purples usually tend to be a little bit patchy but it isn't this one case. This kind of color tends to be patchy, it's just the nature of the pigment you know but they obviously find the right way to make it happen and just from tapping the color over the shade reality I already created a little bit of the blending on, going on here now I'm gonna turn the brush to the other side so this side here is where I place the eyeshadow right so I'm gonna turn the brush to the other side where the brush is clean and I will face up where the brush is clean where the brush is dirt where I put the eyeshadow and I'm gonna just clean the edges here just a little bit I didn't add, add any more eyeshadow I'm just working with what with what what I deposit I already deposited on my lid come back with the shade reality on my crease and I am not I didn't add any more eyeshadow I am just blending what was already here you know just blending the edges to keep it smoky but it's still really uh, compact now with a synthetic brush I'm gonna grab the color distortion and with this color completely dry I'm placing this color really close to my outer V really close to my inner corner too I gonna I will tell you this color it's completely dry and it still shine wow this is one of those colors that are actually hard you know the darkest the color is the deep the hardest is to see the um, the shine and in this one you can actually really see the shine so i am impressed honestly i am already digging this look i could leave the look like that hello eyes are probably my favorite i don't know i feel that it works best for my eye shape now i'm gonna grab my zoeva 222 which is a classic shader brush and the color machine here since this color is already nice and wet feeling I will just add it completely dry to my lid just to pressing this color on my lid. don't put too much try to put it as little as possible I promise you it still will look amazing because Beauty Bay formula always do how interesting is this color combo loving it now with the same synthetic brush I will come back in the edges and add a little bit more of that shimmery burgundy shade now with a flat top brush I will grab the shade hardcore here and I am placing this color to my outer part of my lower lash line same color Ooh, same color same brush in the inner part Now with the same brush, I will grab the color. I will grab the color source here. I gonna place this color in the middle of my lower lash line. Of course, the sheen it won't be as obvious as if I was it. I use it all over my lid, but still, it's a nice something something there. It's will like. I wanna come back with the brush that I use with the color reality and with the what with just what was left in the brush. I'm gonna blend this color really close to the blues just to blend it a little bit here down below. Now I'm gonna grab a small pencil brush, this one is the one from Sigma and I'm gonna grab the color slime, this color here and I wanna just add this color just in my inner corner just to give me a little bit more of a pop. 
Now I'm gonna grab a, a extremely fat brush. This one is the number 15 by Refer. You can see it's just a fat blending brush. And I'm gonna just, this brush is completely clean. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna just blend the edges of this look. Just the edges. <laughs> now it's time for a mascara. I'm using my Bad Gal Bang uh, mascara by Benefit. And we're gonna coat those lashes. Now I'm gonna add my Nabla Cupid Arrow in the sh in the color number seven, and I'm gonna add it to my waterline. Arrow line, just add a little bit to the grunginess, but I wanna go a little bit. You know what? I wanna add a little bit more to the grunginess, so I'm gonna go with a black uh, water uh, black black waterline, and this one is the Nabla Cupid Arrow in the color four. But if you had a black that's what you're gonna use right now. Can you see how much dramatic? Wow. Tight line too. Now I'm gonna add some lashes and I'm gonna be right back to show the final result and let you know my first thoughts about the palette. So this is the look with lashes and honestly, I had a little bit of a black eyeliner in my inner corner and just a little bit of flake here in the outer part and Honestly, let me tell you, I love this grungy glam eye look. And you know what I was thinking? I love this look, but I can make it way much dramatic. And right now on my lips, I'm wearing the same thing that I'm wearing on my cheeks, which is this Daydreamer blush by Melt Cosmetics, which is, it's a really nice to wear on your lips because it's, it almost doesn't transfer, which makes me love it. And this one is the second of this kind of blushes that I buy because I honestly, I do enjoy the formula so much. But you know what I was like thinking? I am with this extremely sleek, extremely for what's possible. Today is the oil, oil day for my hair. Uh, once every two weeks I like, I like to dr to drunk my hair into coconut oil before I wash it just to n nourish the hair a little bit more so today it's oil day I don't know if you can see so when I do oil day I just slick my hair in the back and cool the day and I was like okay with this this hair completely back this makeup really dramatic I wanna try to do a more more like of a um, dramatic look. So yeah, this one works nicely because let's be real, it kind of works really nicely. But I wanna call the drama. So <laughs> I was looking into my collection and I was searching for like a burgundy deep dark lips, and I noticed that I have some deep dark lips but almost all of them tend to be a little bit more on the brownish side and I was looking for a reddish burgundy not red, not brown, some kind on something on the middle so I was like I wanna use this old, old, old color pop liquid lipstick and I probably shouldn't put this one on my lips this one is the shade Mamacita, which I love the name, let's be real. Mamacita and it's on collaboration with I Love Sarah. It's a really old lippy and I shouldn't put on my lips. And please don't put old stuff on your lips. With that said, let, let's put this one on. I love this kind of look. It's really dramatic. To me, this one is just a magic. I know people is always, oh, it's always like, yeah, don't put dark eyes with dark lips, it's too much. You know what? We love too much. I have to say that this one, it's, it's kind of patchy, Ugh. not the best lip color ever, let's be real. By the way, this is the final result with this dry ass lippy. Mm. Let me just try to save it. <laughs> okay, so on my bathroom, I always, always keep this lip mask here from e.l.f. I really do enjoy this one here. I feel, I feel that it's really hydrating, 
but it leaves like a glossy finish onto, onto the lips, so it can be perfect for the lip. In this way, my lips will not completely die on me, right? Let's do this. So I will work this product a little bit in the back of my hand, and I'm gonna grab it with the tip of my finger, and I'm gonna tap it all over my lips. Fine, this lip is not uh, transfer proof anymore, but at least my lips are not dying. By the way guys, this is the final look, I hope you have the fun like I did doing this look, and I hope if you recreated this look, please let me know, I am so curious. Do you like a dramatic look, or you prefer more, uh, how I gonna say, or you prefer something more nice and ethereal you know what i can do both i love deep dark dramatic grungy look like this one here or something more sprinkle something more feminine so i love how makeup can really transform your mood and this one here makes me feel like uh, empowered it makes me feel like i i am the kind of person who has everything under control which i'm not you know me, I am not. Now let's zoom out a little bit and talk about the palette. This color here doesn't swatch so uh, dramatically good like for example this one here, but it still works really nice and it's, you can still see a lot of micro pores in it. It's a really nice, it's a really nice uh, 3D effect shimmer and as it's this one here which everyone who did who used this palette used this color here i don't know if you noticed but i was like okay this is a beautiful color but can we please use other stuff from this palette yeah the lightest color is the white of course but the second lightest is this one here and i feel that i can still work this one on my skin tone so this one it's a really uh, tan skin friendly and it's really nice to have this one in my collection and I was so impressed by how this color here that usually this kind of shades tend to be a little bit more on the patchy side because you know cool tones uh, purples and cool tones blues tend to be a little bit more on the patchy side because of the uh, the pigment that they use to create this kind of color they, they tend to be a little bit patchy this is how uh, why it's so hard to find a really good cool tone, uh, cool tone purple but this one I was impressed I don't have any patchiness on this eye here and it's blended with this a cool tone blood red shade so fastly so nicely and right now you cannot even tell uh, where this where starts the red and when start where starts the purple they just meshed together to the perfect I want to do more looks with this palette here it's a but right now it's a old old oh, palette you know how is this beauty this beauty world the products get older so fast but this color story just inspires me to do a lot even just a neutral look because you saw how this one here swatch and even if you're not into neutrals you cannot tell me that this color here isn't amazing this color here you cannot you can create something really dramatic and neutral looking with this palette here but i don't know if you want to see more looks with this one here and even if just one of you say me yes i want to see more i want to do more i will do more because i i love play with makeup and you know sometimes makeup really changes your mood and this one here makes me feel amazing amazing <laughs> please subscribe leave me your comment down below to me so important to have your comment and I see you soon bye bye